Hey, it's Chris. Once again, coming from the office at All In Gym. Another educational video. Last one on nutrition. We talked about how to set up your maintenance calories. Today, I'm going to teach you how to take that information and start to actually set up a diet and put yourself in a caloric deficit. So, step number one, we have to, after we have figured out our maintenance calories, we need to take 500 from that amount. So, I'm gonna get out my little calculator here. We use me as an example. So I have my maintenance calories already figured on the app. And they were 3,390 for me to maintain. So if I take 3,390 and I subtract 500, 2,890 calories should put me in a small deficit. Our goal with this deficit is to achieve a 3,500 calorie deficit. So 500 calories over seven days puts us at 3,500 calories. 3,500 calories equals one pound of body fat. So in theory, if I eat this amount, even without exercise or anything else included as extra calories, I could lose one pound a week on average. So now we know how much to eat. Now what kind of foods do we eat? How do we set up our macros when setting up a diet? First thing we do, we wanna set protein at one gram per pound of your current body weight. That's gonna give you adequate protein to repair your muscles and all the other functions of the body that protein helps with. You'll hear people throw out some bigger numbers in this, not that it's necessarily bad, but if you overeat protein, then the body's just gonna convert it to glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis. So instead of doing that, you can have some delicious carbs. So I like to start protein right there. So I weigh 230 pounds, so my protein is gonna be 230 grams. Next, we have fats. Fats, we start at 0.4 grams per pound of body weight. This is crucial. Fats have a lot of purposes in the body, which we'll get into in later videos, but one of the most important things is it controls hormone function. So we don't wanna to get too, fats too low and get the body all out of whack. So a lot of people try to eat low fat, but you need to make sure you're at least getting this at a minimum just for basic bodily function. So I weigh 230, if I times that by 0.4, that gives me 92 grams of fat. So now we know our fat and our protein. So the next step is we got to figure out carbs and we're going to do that by figuring out the remaining calories and then dividing it by four. The reason we do that is one gram of protein is four calories, one gram of carb is four calories, one gram of fat is nine calories. So to get to this process, we need to figure out how many calories we're getting from protein. So protein calories is going to be 230 times four. So I'll do that real quick here. So we're getting 920 calories from protein. You can see by my handwriting that Hannah obviously makes the board. Her handwriting is a lot better than mine. Fat is going to be 92 grams times nine. So we're getting 828 calories from fat. So if we take our total weight loss calories, 2,890, and we subtract 920, and we subtract 828, that leaves us 1,142 calories left for carbs. We divide that by four, we're gonna to get to eat 285 grams of carbs. Hopefully you can read my chicken scratch. So now my diet is set up. I know exactly how many calories I'm gonna eat, 2,890. I'm gonna get 230 grams of protein, 
a day. I'm going to get 285 grams of carbs a day. I'm going to get 92 grams of fat. In future videos, we'll break this down and actually turn it into meal plans. But this is the first step in setting up your own diet. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, like always, message us on social media. We'd love to make content that helps you get your questions answered. And once again, thanks for your time.